hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in this video I will talk about the quantitative trades and their inheritance I will discuss the different ways to define quantitative trades and what are the different names which are given to these trades and at the end I will talk about the inheritance pattern of quantitative trades so let's start quantitative trades can be defined in different ways the first and very easy way to define a quantitative trade is that we can say any trade that is expressed in numbers or quantities is called quantitative trade so the example of quantitative trades are height birth weight weaning weight milk production and milk fat percentage the other way to define a quantitative trade is that we can say all the measurable trades can also be called as quantitative trades as all of these trades are measurable height is measured in centimeter birth weight is measured in kilograms milk production is measured in kilogram liters and pounds so these trades are also called as measurable trades and the other name which can be given to quantitative trades is metric trades so metric trade is the second name for quantitative trades these quantitative trades are mostly measured on a continuous scale which means they have a continuous variation so the other way to define a quantitative trade is that the trades which have continuous variation can be called as quantitative trades and they are measured on a continuous scale for continuous scale i mean the scale which which has some decimal points and which has a continuous variation here you can see the example of a continuous scale which starts from 0 0.20 and ends at 0.39 and it has variation in decimal points so this type of uh, scale is known as continuous scale and the trades which have continuous variation are known as quantitative trades so this is not always the case there are so many quantitative trades which are actually not measured on continuous scale and they are measured on discrete scale for example egg production is a quantitative trade which is not measured on a continuous scale egg production is measured as number of eggs produced by a hen in a year and it is uh, measured on a discrete scale there are so many other uh, examples of quantitative trades which are also measured on discrete scale like the lactation length which is measured in number of days is also measured on discrete scale and generation interval age at maturity there might be some other trades which uh, uh, which are quantitative but they are my not measured on continuous scale but one definition of quantitative trade is that they are mostly measured on a continuous scale and they have a continuous variation the um, important characteristic of quantitative trade is that they are polygenic which means they are controlled by a large number of genes and these quantitative trades are the economically important trade so sometimes these trades are also known as economically important trades so i have defined quantitative trade as a trade which is expressed in numbers then i defined it as a measurable trade and the name which i gave it was the metric trade and then i said these trades can also have continuous variation and these trades are controlled by a large number of genes so sometimes these trades are also referred as economically important trades in previous example that 
all of the trades which I have discussed here uh, are the economically important trades for uh, farmers. So that's why they are also known as economically important trades. The other characteristic of uh, quantitative trade is that they are also influenced by environment which means their expression is not only affected by genes but also influenced by the environment now we will look uh, at the inheritance pattern of quantitative traits quantitative traits are known as complex traits because it is very difficult to know the actual inheritance pattern of these traits are the actual uh, factors which are effect, uh, which are causing variation in these traits as these traits are controlled by a large number of genes and each gene contributes to the phenotype of that trait so it is very very difficult for us to identify all of these genes even we don't know how many actually genes are controlling each uh, each of these quantitative traits for example we don't know how many are the genes which are controlling the birth weight then you know there are different type of gene actions which involves in the expression of trait like there is a, a dominant gene action epistatic gene action and additive gene action so it would be very difficult for us to identify first to identify all of the genes then to know the interaction how these genes are interacting to express the trait and as you know these traits are also influenced by environmental factors so the exact way of inheritance uh, of quantitative traits is very difficult that's, that's why they are known as complex traits so it is very complex to know the inheritance pattern of these quantitative traits because they firstly they are controlled by a large number of genes secondly they are also influenced by environment so this was uh, a lecture on quantitative traits and their inheritance thank you very much for watching and if you didn't subscribe my channel please do subscribe it